Good morning, Pointers. Today is Friday, January 20th, and is an A-Day. My name is Ryan. And I'm Addy. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice, justice for all. At Sparrows Point Middle School, we have pride when we practice safe behaviors, respect ourselves and others, interact with empathy and inclusivity, demonstrate responsible citizenship, and exercise high academic standards. Now comes time with the weather. Hello, Sparrows Point. I'm looking at Wisner right now. I'm going to call you out again. So, today it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 48 and a low of 38. And starting at 9 a.m., it's going to be sunny. And then 12, when we're supposed to eat lunch, but I guess that's not going to happen. When That's going to be partly cloudy again, and then it's just going to get dark at 6. We, we would like to wish a happy birthday to Callie L., Carly W., and over the weekend, Brayden E., Reese B., Abner S., and Riley G. Here's this week's lunch menu. Now Liam with the National Day. Today it is National Day of Acceptance Day, National Cheese Lovers Day, uh, National Disc Jockey Day, and National Butter Crunch Day. There will be no advanced drawing club with Mr. D this week or next week. We will meet again in February. Last week the Green Club collected trash around the school. The students picked up 6 pounds and 8 ounces. We then sorted it t to out to see what could we could recycle instead of throwing in the trash. Our next meeting will be January 19th after school until 4 p.m. Can you help our environment at Sparrows Point? Can you st stay and join our club with Miss McQuaid in room 205? Valentine's Day dance, February 10th, 3 to 5 p.m., 25 Pauls for a ticket. Student council will be selling snacks during the dance. PBIS Paul's store will be open every Friday morning before announcements. You can find the store at the end of the hallway by the auditorium stairs. Please have your Paul's filled out with completely with first and last name. After school tutoring is available every Tuesday and Thursday in Mrs. George's room, 227 from 3 to 4 p.m. A snack will be provided. Make sure you have a ride home. Attention educators rising. Our next meeting is January 26th. The Pulsera Project is coming to Spares Point. Buy your bracelets at lunch or in the morning in front of room 230 for $7. Reach out to Ms. Moreland if you have any questions. Now First Page Friday. Today for First Page Friday, we have No Summit Out of Sight, the true story of the youngest person to climb the seven summits by Jordan Romero with Linda LeBlanc. Prologue. April 26, 2010. Mount Everest. I heard only my labored breathing and the crunch of my crampons biting into snow as I traversed a nearly vertical slope on the north face of Mount Everest. Below us, the slope continued steeper and steeper until it spilled over into a bottomless cliff. But I was securely attached to a safety line that was anchored to the mountain. My stepmother, Karen, and our Sherpa guides, Ang Pasang, and karma were ahead of me. My father, Paul, just behind. The weather was perfect with clear blue sky everywhere I looked. It was a beautiful day for climbing. I took one step, then another. Suddenly, a thunderous roar ripped through the air. The earth rumbled and shook. The word of the day is discern, which means to see things clearly. The ill-mannered people at Trisha's party proved that she had little discernment when it w comes to choosing friends. Now Tommy with the sports report. Yesterday against Golden Ring, the boys basketball team won 34 to 33. Their girls lost 11 to 19, and the bocce team won both their games with scores of 6 to 4 and 7 to 4. Now to Mr. Wickman. Good morning, Sparrows Point Middle School, and happy Friday. 
this is just a reminder that students do not have school on Monday again. Let's go. Staff, you still have school on Monday. You guys still have to come. But that being said, knowing that you have a three-day weekend ahead of you, let's make sure that we make today a productive and prideful day. Make sure uh, you understand that we are at the beginning of the third quarter. The beginning of the third quarter. This week and next week are the first two weeks where you have to make sure that you start that grade up here and don't dig yourself a hole that you're trying to dig out of at the end of the quarter back in, ooh, I don't even know, March, April? I know, it's, it seems like it's far away, but make sure you're not putting yourself in a position where you have to do that. Tutoring still being provided Tuesdays and Thursdays, so put yourself in a position where you start at the top. It's easier to maintain than to try to build back up. Now, where do rainbows go when they get in trouble? Prism. It's kind of a light sentence. I spy. Have a good A point. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation.